In the grand tapestry of nature, few molecules hold as much significance as vitamin C, a humble compound, yet one that has shaped the course of human health for centuries. But today I ask a crucial question. Is there a difference between the vitamin C found in nature and the one crafted by human hands? Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a vital component of life. It is found abundantly in the verdant citrus orchards of the world, within the tender flesh of kiwi fruit, and in the vibrant bell peppers that sway gently in the breeze. Yet, in our modern era, it is also synthesized in laboratories, precision crafted to mimic nature's own design. But does the source of this vital nutrient truly matter? Let us journey into the science. To the trained eye, the structure of vitamin C remains unchanged, whether harvested from a sun-ripened orange or conjured from the depths of a laboratory. The molecule is identical in its every twist and turn, in its very essence. And yet, nature rarely works in isolation. When vitamin C is consumed in its natural state, it arrives alongside an entourage of flavonoids, fibre and other essential compounds, a symphony of nutrients that may influence how it is absorbed and utilised by the body. And so, we must ask, does nature's complexity bestow an advantage? For decades, scientists have sought answers. In the animal kingdom, some creatures appear to benefit from vitamin C when consumed in the form of whole foods. In guinea pigs and certain rodent models, flavonoid-rich sources have led to increased retention in key organs. But in the realm of human physiology, the story takes a different turn. Steady-state studies in humans, meticulous, controlled and precise, have shown little distinction between synthetic and natural vitamin C. The body, it seems, recognises no difference. It absorbs, utilises and distributes the molecule with equal efficiency, whether it arrives encased in the flesh of an orange or as a solitary compound in a tablet. And yet, the grander picture remains. Whole foods, beyond their gift of vitamin C, provide an array of benefits antioxidants that neutralize free radicals, fibers that aid digestion, and polyphenols that whisper to the body's very chemistry. In this intricate dance of biology, an orange offers far more than just one solitary nutrient. For some, the bounty of nature may not always be within reach. Those who find themselves in the depths of winter, with limited access to fresh produce, those recovering from illness or those whose diets limit their intake, may find solace in supplementation. Here, the synthesized form of vitamin C serves as an effective bridge, ensuring that the body's needs are met, even when nature's abundance is momentarily out of grasp. And so, we reach our conclusion. Science tells us that the body welcomes vitamin C in all its forms. But when one consumes it as part of a whole food, they are not merely ingesting a nutrient, but rather partaking in an evolutionary masterpiece, a blend of compounds shaped by time and nature. The choice, dear viewer, is yours. Whether from the orchard or the laboratory, vitamin C remains a keystone of health. But in the grand balance of life, nature's gifts often hold more than what meets the eye. Subscribe for more explorations of the natural world.